what you let's guys get into think. it. Let's okay. get into the song. Let's go. I was getting uh, into the song. Is there anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let's get into it. Real quick, real quick. Uh, real quick, real quick. For me, yo, I was asleep, right? And then I wake up. The, yo, the phone was on my chest. The group chat was just buzzing, right? Yeah, Pierre did come in a little late. <laughs> yo, after yo, after that, since then, I've been afraid to go to sleep because I'm like, yo, I'm gonna miss, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss something. To go to I, I got, bro, I got rap drop PTSD. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Every time you doze off a little bit, you're like, oh no, no, I can't miss anything. I can't miss the jokes. Right. I can't miss the jokes. Yo, I got. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> this is loud as it goes. I gotta go bad. Gotta I gotta go bad. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I love this part. Drop, drop, yeah. drop, drop the gimmick back for the vibe with the spot. And he was teasing this song, hey. right? Oh. Uh, I was really, really trying, trying to keep, keep it PG. I was, I was trying. He was. PG. I mean, he did, but. DP. But the villain game really like for PC. Okay. YG. Chuck T. I'm out. I ain't shooting niggas out. CB. Okay, can we talk about the. So everyone has been saying, like, don't fuck with Kendrick. Don't come. He's from Compton. He's from Compton. And rightfully so, from Compton. I'm not saying he's not tough. I'm not saying that. But, like, the fact that um, uh, Drake is bringing up YG, Chuck T, CB. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, these guys are really affiliated. Yeah. Is he trying to insinuate that, like, there's a side of LA that I have on my side that you don't have. Or... Okay, I can see that because that because could... why would he name drop them <clears throat> if he didn't get the okay from them to like mention them in the song? I, I doubt. I doubt he got the okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, but, so why would he do this then? But see, but I... to them, he probably has relationships with them or is closer. To me, it was confusing just a little bit. I like. Oh, I want to be clear. I know niggas think I hate Drake. I love Drake and I love this song. He mm -hmm. does. So I really he do. Does. I really do love Drake. What confused me though was we didn't heard Good Kid, Mad City. Uh huh. Which is Kendrick insinuating that he's a good kid in a mad oh, city. Mm -hmm. okay. So again, I, I like the fact you that he poked holes in that. Yeah, he kind of poked right. holes in that. Yeah, I'm but I like it though. I like that part. Some accountability. Tough. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Tough. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go, baby. Let me put the cape on. Let's go, baby. Hold on. I knew that was gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> when he said, "I knew that was gonna you get me in trouble," you like you about to get the slaves free. Now, I want to give two perspectives. That shit was funny though. The first perspective is <laughs> that shit was funny to start. Yeah, that shit. I get it. <laughs> Yo, we I got get a, it. We got bro. Kendrick, Kendrick Fandler. He's like, yeah, that shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, was funny. I get it. Like, I understand. <laughs> When you trying yeah. to get the slavery, like <laughs> I understand but, the new, like the 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 comedic relief. Yeah. Now again, yeah. we know Drake to be somewhat of an entertainer and a comedian. I want to go back no, to the he, ESPN yeah, he's, awards. He's silly. He's silly. Yeah. I want to go back to ESPN when he hosted. Now again, how many rappers? Outside of LL Cool J, shout out Capricorn Birthday Twin. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Outside of LL Rock the Cool bells, J. What up? There's not many rappers who've made the transition to be able to have the ability to host major awards and ceremonies gotcha. in any space. And entertain. Gotcha. Michael Strahan, I think he did a phenomenal job oh, of transitioning seamless from transition. athlete great. to like media personality. He's like great. there's very few and far between. But even LL Cool Shannon J. Shannon Sharp might be next, yeah. Even Shannon Sharp, mm -hmm. even Michael Strahan, all of those three guys that I listed, they are past their prime in their athletic field or in their artistic field, right? right? They're, they're, they're not at the, the peak. When Drake was hosting the ESPYs, he was at the peak or, or, or ascending, however you want to <coughs> view it. Right. He was still an artist. He's still an artist and a very active artist. Mm -hmm. So when Drake did the ESPYs, and I, I'm, I'm only using the ESPYs because, because I feel like that was one of the first moments we got to see him and Chris Brown together. When they made light of their situation, right. that was one of the first moments where we got to see Drake almost give his. And again, he's always been witty. Right, and this is 2014. This, this is 2014. 2014. This is all, always a part of being a, a, a artist or one of the best artists. You got to be witty. You got to be charismatic. Yeah, you got to have certain qualities. When Drake hosted the ESPYS, I think that was on full display. So when he says something like this, like "Oh, you had a you 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 making a bar to free the slave," like it's a funny bar, but. Again, 
I think he got to go back in that dark room. <laughs> Kendrick is currently calling out his black cultural cachet. Mm-hmm. Back. And it's, it's as if he's tone deaf or just not reading the writing on the room like, yo, dog. It's funny. I get you. But mm-hmm. let's go a little bit deeper. Like, we got a lot of depth from Kendrick so far. I, yeah. I took that differently. I'm listening. I, I took that as Drake was like, yo, like, I'm not even going to pay. I'm not even paying attention to what you're saying. Watch this. And I just f- completely just disregarded. Even that's also part of Kendrick's culture vulture points. And, and, mm-hmm. and if, Where, if that yeah. is the mindset of Drake, mm-hmm. yeah. he that's, that's not the approach you want to take. Because, yeah. again, we're talking about we're, we're not doing Meek Mill, and you know Alex yeah. more than anybody. Yeah. I'm a Pusha T fan. Facts. That's why. Staying I, like. Now nah, he don't fuck with you push. no more. <laughs> nah, don't do that. <laughs> At, nah. Don't I'm going to call Ish. I'm going to call Push. Bro, bro, I'm going to call bro, niggas. No, 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 no. We're not, no. We we not doing that. call niggas, bro. When it comes down to it, like, I am a put like, that is, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like, I know. But so, not no more. You leading the charge. I understand. I get it. <laughs> yeah. But when you say things like this, I think Drake needs to, again, go back into the dark room. Get surgical. I think he needs to talk to real people and get surgical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That surgical summer that Pusha T promised mm-hmm. is what Kendrick Lamar is doing to Drake. Let's get back to it. Acting like an activist is make-believe. Don't even go back to your hood and plant on money trees. Say you hate the girl. Real quick. The Money Trees, yeah, yeah, pick that up. Uh, Kendrick yeah. song, Money Trees, Kendrick song from Good, uh, Good Kid, Matt City. Money Yo. Trees is a perfect face for shade. Again, <laughs> <laughs> anybody who may not have picked that up, yeah. that was a bar that referenced back to that album, classic album, Money Trees. You're not planting it there, meaning maybe Kendrick's not giving back to his hood. Mm-hmm. Right. Girls, I fuck with what you really mean. I've been with black and white and everything that's in between. You the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen. I like this part. He had to do this. Yeah. He had to do that. Had to. He had to do that. Now, yep. again, <laughs> Kendrick stepped on this song, but if we're just keeping it on this song, that is a bar that landed for me. 